don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers at Notification Gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. So I got a couple subjects I'm going to talk about today, but I'm going to put them all in one. So, you know, take this walk with me and we'll talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate every single one, all of the new subscribers and everybody that's old that's been here since day one. Shout out to them day ones. I know we almost at 70,000, but we'll keep it bouncing. So, Easy to Black Captain drops a new record called Save That. Going at T Rex, you know they've been going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? They probably more than likely gonna battle soon, but uh, we'll go ahead and listen to that. Uh, you got Casey J's opponent, which was Swave Seven, being swapped to New Jersey Twerk, and then Prep battling Swave Seven on the tournament. I give you my thoughts on that. And what's more important, the battle or the war? My man Showtime SP, salute to him. He brought that uh, topic to me, and I think that it's something that we should talk about. But anyway. Let's get right into it. Easy to black captain. Save that shot by Battle Raps Corner. Salute to him. Make sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube channel and all that and all that and all that. Let's get to it. Alright. No, no, man. That's no one You know I gotta save that. I mean, who ain't say that? You said my name, don't play that. You been a fucked up since way back. You a hope. Let me say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. No one coming. I gotta say that. Say that. Say that. Two gun charges, I stay straight. Wait, y'all. Pyrex, Pyrex, fish scales, go fake, y'all. Got wrecked to the gym, don't hate, y'all. Hard to help a nigga out with his weight loss. Headshot, that'd be great, dog. Cause he's only good for a face off. No cat. The headshot since he's only good for a face off. I like that line. That shit was kind of fire. I like how it got a little bounce. It got that drillish bounce to it. That's what's really that's what's taking over anyway right now. Don't trace y'all, go on airplane mode before I take off. He came to the party, but he late, y'all. Hey y'all, he done found up my style. This gotta be Columbus Day, y'all. They outside and I made y'all. So Columbus Day, y'all. He outside and I made y'all. I caught that. It's a line within the line. Okay, let's keep it moving. Save, save, save that. Easy to block, Captain. You gotta save that. When you start, you know, you had top tier. That's how you got here. Save that, though. Save that. Salute to Easy to Block, Captain. I'm sure this is a recap. And I feel like Vada can react to this. And ain't nobody gonna ask me to take it. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. The ass got caught on tape. How the cookie cut a nigga? You rapping, nigga. Voice of the streets, respected, homie. Smack call, like, what's the math? I told that nigga I want legends only. Ah! Y'all miss Smack called said What's the math I told him I want legends only That was fucking crazy I fuck with that line No coming, gotta save that. I like the track. It's a track that I can actually bump. Like it's like a, it's, it's fire. Like got that drill sound to it. It gets you hype. It gets you pumped. It's melodic. He's got a dope hook to it. You know what I'm saying? Rex dropped his record. I had reacted to it, but let me say that. Let me say that. Let me say that. Let me save that. It looks like these guys will be battling soon. Um, uh, it'll be what it is. You know what I'm saying? I got easy to block Captain 3 0 but whatever. You know it's entertainment. It's battle rap. Let's keep it moving. So. Uh, you know, Easy has made a name for himself. He's came up very fast uh, as far as with his battle rap on the URL side. He's been in battle rap for quite some time, but everybody's path 
to success is not the same. You have some people that immediately come on, they strike quick and they get hot. Geechee Gotti's and um, Jerry West, not Jerry, Jerry West took a little while. Swamp got hot quick. Uh, and there's a lot of other people that got hot quick. Jaden Nightwing got hot quick. Uh, for Easy, it took a little while, you know what I'm saying? He was battling on some other leagues for some years, but he's right now, he's the hottest one out of all the new niggas. There's nobody hotter than Easy Black Captain right now. I'm sorry, it is what it is. Let me say that. Let me say that. Let me say that. <laughs> um, you got New Jersey Twerk versus KCJ URL. When y'all start swapping like that? When they start swapping like that. I had seen a post earlier from URL and from another people, a couple people posted. Chris and Bias posted it earlier too. And it showed that Casey J is now battling against New Jersey Twerk instead of battling Swave 7. And Swave 7 is battling Prep. What I'm hearing is that Swave and Prep was supposed to battle, so they just moved that battle to the tournament or whatever the case may be. But listen, I'm going to be honest with you. In order to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. Um, I fuck with what Prep do. Prep get busy. We all know Prep. Prep versus New Jersey Twerk would have been a good battle. Uh, most people had Twerk winning. Um, KCJ is dangerous. I'm just going to say it like that. Let this nigga slip one word, one syllable, one half of millisecond, one frame, one jersey, one bring it back. She is going to win. KCJ don't play with no fucking body. KCJ don't play with niggas for free. She's done She's done niggas dirty for less is all I'm saying. You ever seen that battle with Swamp? Like she's done niggas dirty for less. Way, 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 way less. Um, a lot of people are going to pick Twerk going into it because he has so much star power. You know what I'm saying? Like when he's, when he's on his A game, when he's focused, you know, he's never had a hundred thousand dollars. None of these, none of these niggas battling in this tournament really have ever had hundred thousand dollars that they could win at one time that is a lot fucking money that you could potentially win so you <laughs> niggas better bring their a plus 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 super plus game hey you niggas can't imagine choking or slipping in a tournament for a hundred thousand niggas will what it'll never ever ever be the same niggas will go dumb on whoever it don't even matter to mc um i think this is one of the more interesting battles of the whole card because we all know what Twerk can do, but the third rounds, and listen, this is not even no hate. Like, I follow Twerk on Grammy, he follows me too. I listen to his music, I fuck with him. Like, I got no issues with him, you know what I'm saying? It's just, the truth sound like hate to niggas who hate the truth. And then if I say a recycle or, or a stumble or whatever the case may be, that's not hate, and that's just me telling the truth. I don't, I don't know the nigga personally, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't been in each other's houses and shit like that. But I can call battle rap for how I see it. It's just my personal opinion. All it is is a fucking opinion. Nigga ain't got to subscribe to my opinion. Salute to the people who do. But um, him versus Casey J. Listen, my nigga. Let, if this nigga slips one syllable, it ain't going to be much more. She will get him the fuck out of here if you think not. She don't play Casey J. Now her last battle with Bonnie really wasn't that great. I don't know. Something about, I don't fucking know. This shit just was not a great battle. But it is what it is. Bonnie don't bring great battles. Not hating. True sound like hating niggas who hate true. And she just don't bring great battles no more. It is what it is. So to see her with that pen that she got. Bro, do not fucking be surprised if this is some 1-1 one, one going into the third. Niggas got to fucking tally, 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 dilly down to the last fucking vote to see who wins this shit. Do not. All I'm saying is don't be surprised. Expect the unexpected, okay? Let's, let's be projected to expect the unexpected in this whole scenario. You know what I'm saying? There's some other MCs in this motherfucker who could go crazy. Salute to Showtime SP for giving Jerry West love. Jerry West could wild out and be how the West was won and win this whole motherfucking thing. You think Jerry West ain't got no... Powerful spin moves and uppercuts and the, the jab breaking and, and what? Keep playing with Jerry West. Don't play with fucking Jerry West. Jerry West could pull some shit out of a hat. Um, the battle versus the war. Um, Showtime SP, who will be speaking right after me. You know, he's got his identification of what he calls winning the battle versus winning the war. And I think it's important for us as fans to know the difference between the two and to understand that. To me, I feel like winning the war is more important at times than the actual battle. There have been scenarios like Ace Amin just won a war. A war to prove that he could perform on a big stage, that he's not all hype, all interviews, and shit like that versus John John and Don. After having that battle right there, it changes everybody's perspective and the narrative about him being able to battle or being able to conduct himself 
in a manner that shows that he's ready to continue to do what he's doing. There's been other scenarios where, where the war versus the battle. Uh, regardless how you feel about the battle between Cassidy and Hitman, Cassidy's winning the war right now. As far as like with the face off, with perception, like I, I see, see the thing is, Hitman is focused on so much of the negativity and Cassidy's taking the positivity and then he's running with that. But Hitman's only focused on the negativity, only focused on the people who say he lost, he lost, he lost, he lost, shit like that. But most of the media, most of the bloggers and shit is, is saying that he won. But he's only focused on the people who's pointing him out and, nit and nitpicking at that, you know what I'm saying? And trying to, you know, to, to fight, fucking catch bees with vinegar, you know what I'm saying? You catch more bees with honey than you do vinegar. It would have been way more better if you would have just came out and been like, yo, you know, uh, salute to the fans that copy pay view that watch the battle and shit like that. I feel like this. If he feels like that, then so be it. We we put we put on the crowd was booing, but it was what it was. I see y'all in my next joint. Blah 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 blah. Niggas would have had way more, but you, when you carry it in a way that makes people be you know negative and, and condescending about it, it just makes bad image for the war. Um, another scenario: the battle versus the war. Uh, you have an artist like Award has not been on URL. Everybody knows that's the big topic. A war to URL, A war to URL. A war just recently said he's not going to URL for nothing other than knowing what summer man is. And at this point, can you fucking blame him? Can you they made it this way. Cause when Loso came to URL, he was on known versus Scotty. No hate amongst that group. Salute to these niggas and everything that they got going on. But I seen a very interesting take on it. Loso is not where A Ward was when A Ward did when Loso debuted on URL. A Ward is past where Loso was at. Career wise, statue wise, battle wise, catalog wise, he was past that. A Ward is past that right now. He's one of the most decorated in a short amount of time MCs that has never been on URL. Now I know there are folks like the source, like fucking Illmac and folks like that. I'm talking about new generation in the last three to five years. He's one of the most decorated that hasn't been on URL yet. He's, he is, if there's somebody else that people feel like can actually compete on that level. Now I know Av said um, that, you know, there's been a lot of niggas on URL that's been killing and deserved those shots too. And A will rebuttal real quick, but they trash though. They give, he has the right to talk the way that he does because he's battling URL's talent outside of URL. He's beating them or having debatables with them. Or beating, he's beating a lot of them. He battled Danny Myers already. He's battled O-Red already. He's battled DNA already. He's battled fucking um, Ill Will just yesterday. Like he's battling the top names and he's not getting smoke. So now it's like if you want to see me on URL, it's got to be a big look. It's got to be a big look. He said he was offered real sick. But they wanted him to battle for free. A-Ward's not battling for free. A-Ward ain't battling for free. It ain't happening. Like, that chance is out the window. He wasn't doing that shit when he was in the PG. What made, when, they, when he was around the PG level, he wasn't going to do it. He's definitely not going to do it. Now, why would he battle for free? I wouldn't even leave my house for free. At this point in time, where, where I'm at in my career, I would not leave my house for free in, in correspondence to battle rap. So I know he's not going to do it. Like, it, it's an absolute no. It's low-key disrespectful to even ask him to even think that he should step down from what he's doing, getting big names, bringing big performances, and having that battle that he had just versus ill will to come battle somewhere else for free. URL isn't the only thing. It's not everything. Some people just won't ever be there, and they will, and they can have fine, prosperous careers without them. You just seen this fucking event had a thousand people in it. The line was wrapped around the fucking corner for Cassidy versus Hitman. Uh, I know a lot of MCs will be like, "Oh, if it ain't on URL, it don't count." Well, shit, it was a whole lot of URL MCs in that motherfucker. It's all <laughs> niggas was there. Hey, big bro, can I get a plate? But we gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. Let me say that. I'm gonna say that. Um, but. Overall, I do think the war is more important than individual battle. I've seen individuals lose battles or have battles that was debatable or whatever the case may be and they projected move higher. I've seen people win battles and not go nowhere because the battle was not that important. Like when these MCs go out and battle on all these other little small platform, 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 them battles don't mean shit. We don't, most niggas don't even recap them when they battle against fucking, uh, Bouncer Bobby, Taco Bell Tony, Microwave Manny, all these niggas, like, it's cool. We'll see. We'll watch. We watch the battle for your round. 
We, I will watch the MC's round, the one that we know. The other nigga? No. Sorry, you ain't earned that. Let me say that. Let me say that. Sorry, my nigga. Let me say that. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. But yeah, they, they'll send them too. Them niggas be sending them shits and all of that, and nobody's watching them. How much can, will you charge to recap this? Bro, I can't. Niggas will ask, how much is it charge to recap? I can't recap them battles because niggas will be looking at me like, yo, who is this person battling? We don't even know this nigga. Like, we not here for that. My channel too big for that. I can't, I, like, I, I would love to, but I know you ain't earned that. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. Salute to the subscribers at notification, game rights, game clothing.com. Showtime XP, take him away. I'm going to say that. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP, the nobody that knows bodies. I'm in traffic, and I'm just sharing my thoughts with myself. And then I decided, you know what? I really need to talk about this. I think we need to have this conversation. I've was, I seen it on Twitter. I've been seeing the timeline. I've been seeing this, this narrative for a while, a narrative that I myself have been also advocating as well. And that is if... Person, if Battler A beats Battler B and it's a debatable, Battler A automatically wins that battle because he won the war. He, ought, he shouldn't make it debatable. And I'm here to say that, yeah, it's true, but y'all can't. we can't just go by that every single time. We can't do that every single battle. Each battle has each each battle has its own. If this person wins and battling, winning the war and winning and winning the battle, because in a battle, it is three rounds and you have to have three complete, concise rounds. Whereas that 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 it's it shouldn't be uh, uh, debated because battler B is supposed to be of a higher skill level. Or a, a, a higher uh, consistency level when it comes to battling. So these are the things that, like, that's the reason why people say um, Battler B shouldn't even make it close because of the style of the writing of that person. When in all actuality, we are actually pushing Battler A to make it debatable, to create that narrative, to make this battle talked about. You get what I'm saying? It's like, all right, prime example. One of the first few ones that I that I remember myself saying, um, uh, if you if you win the if you win the battle, you or if you make the battle the battle if you make the battle debatable, you win the war. And that is, um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was Jerry West versus John John, where there was the talk of we just I just wanted Jerry West to survive. If Jerry West survived, he must he to me wins the war. I didn't say that Jerry West had to win the battle, but he had to make the battle good enough or at least make himself fight a fighting opponent so that he could continue to fight on. What we fail to also realize is that when we say this battle shouldn't even be close, it is also downplaying Battler A because maybe that battler has been on a decline. Maybe that battler has been uh, 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 not the best battler, but yet for some reason that person just keeps on getting booked. Now, in order for Battler A to make this battle debatable, once you win, once you make the battle debatable and now the talk is all about you and how close you got to beating that person, then they keep booking that battle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you got, um, there was a couple, like rookies versus vets. All of those battles, those skill levels and skill sets were all different. Rum Nitty and, and Drugs. That, that, well, that wasn't really a, 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 a rookie's first match. JC versus Kid Chaos. Uh, Real Sick versus Chilla Jones. Because Real Sick wasn't looked at to beat Chilla Jones, Chilla Jones not being the best in his capabilities because of how light he was taking sick, it was one of those situations where now that battle has been debated. Same thing with John John and Jerry West. And the same thing goes with Cassidy and Hitman. Because of the fact that Cassidy and Hitman, Hitman is supposed to have been the better battler, the better all-around battler, the better all-around, you know, uh, 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 like he couldn't be beat in any in any facet when it came to Cassidy. 
All Cassidy had to do was make the battle debatable. All Cassidy had to do was create the talk Oh well, he might have got a round. He might have got a round or two. Now I'm seeing a lot of y'all trying to argue the whole Cassidy's getting, you know, I think I got Cassidy winning the second round. Then you got a couple people that's just saying Cassidy 3-0. You know, there was the Mooka Knights and y'all are now the Cassidians. That's what I'm calling y'all. Y'all are the Cassidians. Y'all are just believers of Cassidy. And y'all just feel as though that he is still 5,004 and 0. Now, I don't know what type of drugs y'all be on. But I'm just saying it's not it's not good for y'all health. It's not good for, you know, your body and things like that. For you to just be putting that type of substance in your body. And you to just be walking around living and breathing thinking that. Now, because Cassidy of higher level. I mean, he's supposed to be of a higher tier too. Cassidy is supposed to be the best ever. Cassidy is supposed to be oh, the, 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 the reason why all of this is being. So wouldn't you think that that scale or that... Or that uh, that that narrative that is, if Hitman Holla um, uh, uh, loses a round, Cassidy automatically wins. It doesn't necessarily go that way. We can still go with that rule of thumb, but even then, do we now let our guards down for how good the material has to be? Do we let our guards down? So, like, prime example, the same thing about uh, 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 the same thing we say about New Jersey twerk or or, or chess. Or um, or Ace on Me, or um, or Jack Boy Maine, or drugs, or you know, like these are the guys that that when they are put up against somebody other than New Jersey Twerk, but when they're put up against somebody, they are usually the underdog. And we always want to root for the underdog. Yes, we do feel like it's an underdog, but there are certain battles where we feel like the underdog don't doesn't even have a chance in the fight. So as long as they have a fighting chance, or as long as they're giving their all and their energy, you would feel like, you would feel like maybe, just maybe, he might have won the battle. No, that person has won the war. The war, people, the war is the everlasting effect. The war is the affect. It's all of the things that happen after that war. Look where Ace Amin is at right now. Because he made the battle debatable with John John. People still got John John winning the battle. People got Ace Amin winning the battle. But yet, Ace Amin is now still being talked about becoming part of the elite mid tiers. Same thing goes with Cassidy. Everybody was checked out about Cassidy. Everybody was checked out. They was like, listen, Hitman is going to smoke Cassidy all three rounds. If Cassidy gets around, Cassidy wins the war. The war being maybe, just maybe, I want to see Cassidy again. Jerry West was on that on that run where he was battling everybody. And he was trying to get all those top tiers. Jerry West got all the way up to that top tier who was John John. And it got to the point where we was like, well, listen, you done made it this far. That ain't trying to kill you. When they put you up against Rum Nitty and you made it close... Now you, you it's well you didn't make it close, Jerry. That, that was one of those things. You didn't die, but at the same time you lost that battle. That one was a war, but still the over the overarching effect was Jerry West still needed to get that push. You saw the push that Jerry West continuously got until Jerry West battled Arsenal. And then I mean, well no. Was it Danny? Was it Dome? I'm trying to remember who Jerry in the comment section, let me know who Jerry West lost to. It was on it was the same night of uh, the Mook and uh, the same night of Mook and Rock, I believe, or was that a super fight? I'm trying to remember. It's, 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 it's slipping my mind. This is a conversation. I'm on the road. I'm driving. All right, I got three and a half hours to talk and, and talk shit, but I'm not about to spend three and a half hours here and talk to y'all about this. I just feel as though that the war needs to, the war is the overarching effect of your battle career. If Jack Boy Maine makes it debatable in the um3 if he makes it past the second round these are the things that now we believe in him you know what i'm saying same thing that it went for none nut same thing that it went for Fonz. same thing that it went for Holmesy. it's those guys that they have to now win wars where battles aren't the thing that they have to win anymore they have to win wars because once you start winning the wars now we can consider you winning battles it's different it's just different. Let me know in the com in the comment section below if I'm tripping. Let me know, Vada, if I'm tripping. I mean, definitely they let me out the asylum. I ain't got no problem going back, especially after this past weekend. And then we got this weekend coming up. You know, I got a lot of things to think about. You know what I'm saying? i just glad I had to get a little fresh air. But y'all let me know if I'm tripping or not about 
battles versus the war. Like, obviously, winning the battle is right then and there. You need to win the battle. But if you make that battle close enough, the war can be won. That's, I think that's how we should change it. I, I really think that's how we should change it, though. But you already know, that's the showtime. No, that's being nobody that knows body. The price went up, so you already know what's up. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. And remember, nobody's fly.